Let's get to its back quickly. Shoot some shots into back. Okay, it's fell over. I don't think it's dead though. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Metro and Last Light. In the last part, we um, we killed Pavel, the guy who has betrayed us so many times and is actually becoming the biggest threat. And we actually looked into his past um, as we killed him and we've seen that there was a planned attack now to the Metro and it's going to be where we least expect it. So now we know where it is, we're going to go over to um, find it's a polis and we're going to try and find Miller and warn him to build up a bit of an army and um, defend the attack. So, our objective here is to head towards Polis. Hopefully this dark one knows the way, because I have no idea where we're going. Climbing over this gate, it looks like, at this point. My mask is... Something strange here. Wait. Yeah, you, you could say that. Something strange. A lot of trees falling down and groans. There's a dead guy there. Really need a new mask. I have to see. Has this guy got a mask on him? A spare mask, anyone? Spare some masks? Because it is fucked, isn't it? Look at it. If we take one bit of damage, we're probably going to crack it and stop breathing in this toxic air. I think we're heading across these um, these flags. This, this just indicates where the safe footing is. There's a flying one there. Hopefully that doesn't really want to play with us. Oh, not these bastards. I hate these little shits. If we can sneak past this, it'd be amazing. Nope, he's seen us. Let's, let's sprint. Okay, where's the little dark one gone? You could do it giving us some... Oh god, we're slipping a lot here. Okay, I'm just gonna open this because I want to see where we're getting to. Oh god, oh god, okay. One, yes, they're fighting each other. That's very nice. Um, okay. Let's see. We're gonna have to fight these for sure. Look at it. There's loads. Okay, let's get, the, let's get some shooting going on. The gas mask is low as well. Not a good time, not a good time. Let's kill this with this stable, unstable aiming. And um, put the filter on. There we go. Not too bad. Hopefully there's nothing directly behind us, like slashing at our butthole. So um, let's just push forward. I really want to get out of here as quick as possible. I don't like being in these environments. They're so scary. You just, you've got an important objective to get to when you're bloody pissing about fighting all these mutants. Whoa, hello. Are they dead? I think... No, is that one still alive? Shit, reloading. That one's dead now. Um, we've got no health kits left. So we can't heal at the moment. Just gotta be very careful. Make all these shots count. Come on. Let's make sure the headshots really do land. Because if you get a headshot with this gun, it's just a one-shot kill. Otherwise, it's like 10, 15 bullets to kill it. Which is not good. I don't even know if we're to kill these, you know. If we can possibly stealth past. There's a lot anyway. I know that much. Well, I've got a sniper weapon here. This could be useful. It could be one shot kill, I don't know. But the only problem is it's got bolt action. So let's reload this weapon. In case we need to switch back to it. Alright. So we're still heading up this little passageway. I can't take any damage as well, really, because of my health and my gas mask. Oh, there's nice. There's a guy here. Hopefully we can take this mask. Come on, that mask is better than ours, surely. Can't we take it? That's bullshit. Okay, so, um, where are we heading? This way? It's like a... The arrow is pointing this way, isn't it? Can't actually go through there, though. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, there's a little passageway there. Hopefully we can take his mask. Come on, let me take that mask. I feel so much safer if I had a better mask. I could actually see a bit better as well. It's very um, distorted right now. Okay, that's running away. I think there's a silencer on this weapon as well, so it can be used as a stealth weapon to some degree. Alright, how far is Polis? It seems like we've been traveling to Polis the whole entire game. What are they? They're like bears. Are they bears? What is that? Oh no. Please let us not have to fight that. Look at the bollocks on that, bloody hell. Oh shit. Uh, they wouldn't put that in the game, would they, if you didn't have to fight it? Let's be honest. Okay, you got a new gas mask there. Yeah. This is going to be a fight coming up, isn't it? Otherwise, they wouldn't give you all this stuff. Oh, piss. Just when I was full, we were getting near the end where we could actually 
see some peace in the world. It just turns into more and more shit. Look, look, look at that, they give us a big open area to fight this beast in now, haven't they? You just know it. Where is he? There he is. Watch out! Watch out, you mean like, shit, run away, run away. I can't move quickly. Oh god, he's got me, he's got me. Um, Stab it in the head, yes! Okay, it didn't enjoy that, did it? Okay, we can't really move very fast. We're stuck in this like swampy area. Okay, let that run past it. Um, can we get just can we, can we just run away? Let's run away. Can we go through here? No, we can't. Shit. Um, there's dark ones everywhere. Not dark ones. Mutants. Um, I'm just trying to get a bit of space before I turn around to start shooting these fuckers. There's a shotgun on the ground there. Let's just shoot it a bit in the face. Hopefully, it won't mind, <laughs> and it might go away. Okay, there's, there's, there's mutants running around as well. I'm not sure if they're a threat to me or not. Oh god, oh god, it's right there, it's right there. Oh fuck. Um. Oh, what do I do here? What do I do? Do I just have to keep shooting it? Let's throw a grenade. Hopefully, it'll like grenades. Okay, the, the, the mutants don't seem to be attacking me. Yeah, they do. Fuck. Um. Its back is vulnerable. It's got its back to us now. God, it's, dark. it's a mutant on me. Get the fuck off me. They're fighting the, the the big one as well. So can you just stick on that? Oh shit, he's there. <laughs> fuck. Okay guys, we got a shock on this time. Hopefully that's gonna do some more damage. Cause it's always on your tail, so you may as well have a high powered weapon. Back. Right, let's get to its back quickly. Let's shoot some shots into the back. Okay, it's fell over. I don't think it's dead though. No, it's not dead. Definitely not dead. I'm just gonna shoot it as much as I can in the, in the face. We also got loads of little baby ones all over us now as well. And we got blood all over our mask. Is that a thing that's our blood? Okay, his back's revealed again. Because we're so far away, we need to use this weapon. Okay, let's drop it again. How many times do you need to do this? This is not fun. <laughs> Some ammo on the ground there, that's good. Just shoot it as many times as you Because you can't really have one it. So, fuck. I can't need to have one it now, though, because I'm reloading. Shit. Um, I'm going to heal as well after this reload. Just to give ourselves as much of a chance to not die. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, there's loads of little ones. I'm trying to ignore the little ones as much as possible and just go for the ba big bastard. Here it is. Okay, we shot it loads in the face right there. It's down again. Let's reload this and shoot in. Is it dead? Come on, it's dead, right? Is it de That's dead, right? Or is he just really pissed? I think it's really pissed. I don't think it's dead. No, it's not dead. Shit! Oh, he's run off. He's run off. That's very good. I'm happy with that result. Do we need to kill the little ones now? Do we need to kill the little ones? I don't know what's going on. Let's kill the little ones. Because I don't like them. I think there's one left running around. There he is. I'm killing this same big one's babies, so I'm not really making friends of it. Well, not that that was the plan initially. But I'm making it more pissed. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. Heal quickly. Shit. There's one left still. He's not dead. He's dead now. Oof. So how many health kits have I got left? I am two. I don't know where to look then. I've got two health kits left. Okay, so it looks like it might be dead. Oh, God. Let's shoot these little ones. Are they eating its own mother? Or something, or what? What is this? Have a grenade. Forest Guardian. Okay. There's so many things I need to do here. Like, check my ammo, health kits, um, filters. Looks like I may have got rid of it for now. We don't really need to kill it, we just need to stop it from attacking us. So it looks like we've achieved that. Um, let's just get out of here as soon as possible. Come on, this shit is getting unreal right now. It's getting too much. So, is Paulus anywhere near us? Where's the dark one? Oh, nice! <laughs> How convenient. Thank God, you're in one and piece. You a friend. Wait, is this Artyom? This kid shouldn't be out there without a gas mask. What the fuck? Ah, so it is, so it is. 
A child of the surface. A dark one. No! Don't shoot him, Miller. Get it away from me! No mask. I should have known. This one's green, but that one's yellow. Tell him I'm not a danger. He's not a danger. It seems he is adapting well. Yes. That will keep him alive. May I talk to him, Artyom? Do what you want. Come on, Miller. Put your fear aside. This child is the future. You need only take its hand. My hands are full enough. I doubt this creature can help us. But you too. You go on without me. Before I give into better judgment and rid the earth of it. Alright. Why <laughs> man? Khan told me to tell Miller. Fucking, I don't speak ever, so I'm not gonna tell him anything. How is this? Oh, oh, I, I can understand his thoughts, and I can hear yours, Artyom. He's tripping. Can you hear anyone's thought just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was adopted long ago. What do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you. So that they could understand us! What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can hear. Open this! Wait. That looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, at exhibition! It has a strong lock, too. We've yet to break it. What's there? I have no idea. What is this? The They're inside. What? Sleeping. Is this real? It's not real, is it? Incredible! Look at this! They're hibernating! He is not alone! I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are all going there now. We'll open the door if we can. There's... death... nearby... all around. But I must wake them, or be alone forever. Now listen. Help us, and we'll help you. I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. Hopefully, we'll have to improvise. Hey, wake, wake up, you bastards! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Miller just seen us talking to the dark one. Colonel, can you open the gate where the gardens line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the codes for D6. But I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Follow me. Hopefully when he does make Dark Ones come to wake, um, they don't want to kill us. <laughs> He's not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. All right. So let's do this. Artyom, we already knew of Oktobriska from Khan. And we did confront Moskvin on this. Yet he didn't even try to disprove it. He told them by sheer luck their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby. And thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this darkling epidemic in its blood. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of Mirko. What can you say to that? Even I would have done the same. But come on, it was Lesnitsky, the agent who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Artyom. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? <laughs> but the Reds tried to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, yes Moskvin did gear up for war, but after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to Holy. peace. And we must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin, what difference does he make? 
He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood! What? You got a better idea? You brought this ape here! What now? We're done with this. Let's go to the Council Hall. Follow me. Okay. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. I feel like there's things that our team hasn't told these guys because he doesn't speak. Please let this work out. Okay, so hopefully we're going to build up a bit of an army here. It's funny how he's like looks like a kid to me as well. The disguise is so powerful. <laughs> Stay close to the little one. Where's the little one gone? There he is. In the name of our children! You are a liar! God, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards! Take this man away. Ranger, stand down! Artyom, little one, it's your turn. So we're gonna grab him and change his um, his thinking. Really? Is this gonna be allowed? Like, there's so many guys with guns. They're not just gonna let this happen, are they? Do I have to grab him as well? What? What is this? This is weird. As if they just let that happen. A little random kid to touch him, and then he starts grabbing his head. So it's obvious, like something voodoo shit is happening. So this is me, I think. I think he touches him and I go through the thoughts. So I'm um, going through with the Colonel, um, whatever his name is, his um, past. I'm trying to like realign what I want him to do. Am I just walking down the road, the door? Comrade Moscovin, you oh. must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. So what's the plan here? Do I have to go through a specific door? I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What's the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful! Alright, um... Which, do we just keep going through doors, random doors, just to find stuff out? I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink! Sure, brother. We poisoned him. Poisoned his own brother. What a cock. Douchebag. What are you looking at me with those honest eyes for? Alright, so he's like feeling guilty now. That's his brother in the picture. It's your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out. And now, he's got me by the balls! All because of you! Alright, let's um, see what's next. That door's still open. We must have to watch this one. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. But even so... So we're using this against him now, once we come out of this um, weird dream phase. That's what we needed, I think. The murder of his own brother, and confession and all that. 
What... What was I... I... Out loud? <laughs> he said all that loud. I see. So you gave me something. Just like I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes! I did. I poisoned him. With Corbett. I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And he's storming the D6 now. And there's that virus. And if that falls into Corbett's hands, the end. But you are the leader. Order him. Call the troops back. Stall them at least. Buy some time to make a deal. What kind of... There's nothing more we can do here. Hurry! Faster! To the platform! Damn them! I'm not surrendering D6! Follow me! So how, how close is D6 to where we are now? It's all in Polis, right? So hopefully it's just down the road. <laughs> we can get there. Judge! Running in slow motion! So it must be close if they're showing this in slow motion. <laughs> Alright, we're getting kitted up to go defend D6. Shit, there's a big battle coming up ahead, it seems. Will, will we make it in time? Spending a lot of time getting kitted up. Ooh, very cinematic. Okay, jump on the train. Here's Anna, is she not coming? There's the child as well inside the car, the train. Why is she not coming? Because she's injured, I guess. It would be bad for everyone if you lose. Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. Oh. He's still very kind and innocent. He's got not got a bad word to say he about people. Gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. So, we, we said before we'd done the last bit there that we would help him after he's helped us. So he's helped us just now by letting... Um, was getting to that general's mind and let him reveal the secrets so the army can push forward. But how are we helping him? I'm guessing after the battle here, we'll help him. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's all we've got time for this video. So um, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully, well, not hopefully, but maybe the next video is the last one because the title is The Last Battle. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.